Hey guys, welcome to Alex and Julia Conscious Hub. It's such a pleasure to be back and we've been so busy delivering what it is you asked for. We would like to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for all the comments and likes and views and shares for the video that has been born into this world recently on our YouTube channel. And we would like to answer to your calls and your um, comments to actually share our day with you, our rituals, our lifestyle, our mindset. So today we would like to make a video about our day, how it typically goes about and the thinking behind it, the real, the real intentions behind everything that we do. So we'd like to start with our morning rituals, um, something I've been doing for many years. I really believe it's helped me to put me in the right frame of mind energetically um, in order to attract such abundance. Um, into my life and it starts with of course waking up and starting off with a meditation where I go from about half an hour to an hour I time it on an alarm um, so I can just focus on my breathing and whatever comes up bubbles to the top I just let it go and it's not about hanging with the thoughts it's about seeing them pass once the meditation is done I sit with particular questions that I ask myself to set my focus for the day. So my intention is I set one most important question for the day, and then I look at my future self and what it's manifesting with the I am principle. So I am creating the most magnificent life and using really powerful words like this and really create a list and start to visualize it and connect with it. Then who do I have to be in order to attract the most amazing day? And then I look for the feeling that I would like to find for the day. And then I look to how I can create that feeling right now. And then I look at three things I am grateful for right now. Uh, something new, new, just not to repeat it. And then I write one thing I love about me. When I finish this, I then uh, sit down and list my six to seven high priority tasks for the day. So what's important to me, my life, to my development. Now there's gonna be so many other things. If you don't set your high priority tasks, your life is gonna be consumed by low priority tasks. So it's your responsibility to set that. And I set that with the clear intention of making sure I can do as many of them as I possibly can. Once I've done this, I sit for a while reading something that's gonna empower my mind. If it's a psychology book, um, if it's a book on someone's life, whatever it might be. And I'd start the day with a few pages at least under my belt. I know I've already expanded my morning as much as I can. Well, when it comes to me, my morning starts differently every day now that the boys are back to school. And um, on the days that they are at school, I have to wake up at 6.30 in the morning and then basically whiz myself out of the house and get them there as soon as possible. Once that has been done, I come home and then I dedicate my time to connecting to my teams, to connecting to people that are um, um, making things possible for me, for my businesses and for my projects. And in that sense, kind of giving it that focus and giving it and setting that intention for the day. As for the days when the boys don't have to go to school, I give it a little bit more time in the morning. I give it real space and real intention to kind of grow that mindset of gratitude because when you start your day with gratitude you already acknowledge that just the fact that you have woken up is already enough the fact that you are alive and that you have everything that you need just to start your day and feed it with that vision of how you would like it to be once you have aligned with that within yourself then you can communicate it to your teams with a simple good morning with a simple reminder of what it is that we are working towards on each day and that unified intention sets that charge for the rest of the day that we kind of catch up on throughout the day just to see that we are on the right tracks. Health is obviously number one. If you haven't got this covered, everything else is just gonna fall apart. So we start our day with lemon water, with some Manuka honey, um, CBD oil, a bit of pink Himalayan salt and B12. We mix it up and we then have our, a coffee. I like to uh, make a sort of special recipe um, from cacao butter, coconut oil, and some cacao powder, mixing up with some turmeric and with the coffee and some almond milk. 
blending this all together is sort of the vegan uh, bulletproof that you may have heard about. And this gives me the essential fats I need, especially for my brain, I can do with all the help I can get um, to give me the energy needed for when we go into the exercise. Now, we have this at around 11 o'clock because this is the intermittent fasting time. We have an eight hour period where we can eat and then we have 16 hours where we need to rest. It all really starts with the focus, basically by giving the real consciousness and real attention to everything that you're doing. So basically, as Alex always says, how you do anything is how you do everything. And um, so basically having that well-rounded approach, that, but just being conscious enough and aware enough what goes into your body really respecting it and we have kind of taken it a little bit further than probably most people have because we have recently done uh, this research this dna research that has gone quite deep into our genetic composition as well as the possibilities of um, any any kind of diseases and allergies and things like that but that kind of research has given us enough information to be able to see what kind of products we can have what kind of products we can't have how they can affect our um, body fat and our health and provoke any kind of conditions that might compromise our immune system because nowadays the one thing that we need to focus focus on the most is our protection our immune system our guard you know with everything that go, is going on in the world by staying strong internally with your mindset and with your body you can give yourself the, the best chance to actually experience the best in this world when you push yourself in your life if it's physically mentally as we do as you probably will see in this uh, video it's important to give your body as much of the help it needs uh, the nutrition it needs and as you'll see in this uh, concoction of a drink I'm making. The recipe is listed below. So you, everything that we're listing here, we're gonna make sure you have access to. So you can implement it in your life if you choose to. So of course, everyone is in a, a very different situation right now. You're seeing our day of our life in this pandemic, right? So we're somewhat limited to our usual traveling mm. that we'd, we would do. Um, so exercising, we would usually go to the gym. So we've had to adapt. And a lot of people may go, you know what, the gyms aren't open, it's okay, I, I'll wait. And as the months roll on, maybe you're thinking, ah, I should be getting out there to exercise. So for us, we, we brought the exercise home and we follow a program online. I do something on Beachbody, beachbodyondemand.com. And it gives you so many different choices from yoga to uh, weights to insanity workouts. And I'm a real advocate for doing home workouts. And for this one, we were doing something called Lift 4. <laughs> and it's an eight week program involving weights, um, HIIT training, as you'll see, and core exercises four times a week. It really, um, it does push you. However, it's not about them pushing you, it's how hard you push yourself, like anything in life, right? It's not about comparing what other people are doing. The only person you should be comparing yourself to is yourself from yesterday and how can you improve just a little bit more every single day and as we've seen the pain of <laughs> ourselves um, from doing the exercises the very next day ouch yeah. uh, we can barely barely move really like we need to add something else to it but it's it's uh, it's amazing the fact that you can actually engage your body throughout the day and really feel that you active you activate yourself because it gives you more energy later on and as much as it seems like a, a hard push because this partic this particular program that we are doing although it's not very long at a time it's really really potent and can be a little bit challenging and hard creates that kind of experience together that we can share and moan about to each other and complain about to each other but at the same time really appreciate when you see the results because when you see the results of your hard work and your mm. hard labor and you see your body toning up especially for the summer then you're realizing that you know what it was so so worth it and you got to really share it with your best friend with your partner yeah and it's <laughs> you know what it's so easy to come up with excuses right um oh i can't do this oh i can't do that and when you have each other holding each other accountable, yeah. you suddenly realize that you're just using an excuse to prevent yourself from getting stronger, getting fitter, getting healthier. 
there's always going to be something in the way. And it's about having the resolve to go, you know what? I'm going to shush that part of myself and I'm just going to get on and do it. So after the workout, our body's going to need some extra support as we really pushed and challenged it. And a lot of acid can be built up from lactic acid. So we want to neutralize it with some alkalinity um, from the vegetables in the juice, which you can see the recipe below. Sometimes it tastes great, sometimes not so much, but the body certainly loves it. After the juice, we like to have our smoothie, my favorite part, my favorite meal. Um, it has everything you need. You can see the recipe below. Of course, obviously protein powder uh, in order to give our muscles what it needs in order to grow. And because it's absolutely exhausted and it's been pushed to the limit. So after we are done with the exercise and we really kick-started the day, it is time to give to the kids and help them with their homework. Since the pandemic, a lot of it has been happening at home and we have been homeschooling them. And through that time, um, with Alex being so resourceful, we have come up with a system to help ourselves and in the vision to help all the parents in the world to be able to structure it and to motivate the children in the best way possible this system was created where uh, we've given the children the idea of if they do the chores or their things that they usually complain about, they're gonna earn points that they can spend later on the things that they love to do. So suddenly they're not taking it for granted. They're using their points to then play their iPad or the other ventures they want to go on. And they've really felt like they've earned it. And now they're more motivated to do the things that they would not feel motivated to do before. And with this in mind, we're now creating an app that will soon be out there, but we're gonna put it out there to know your feedback. So if you're a parent, if you, have, if you have children, we'd love to know what you think of it once it's become available. So this really defines us because um, we take any opportunity that comes our way. Whenever we see anything that needs a little bit of light and improvement, we take it and we take it seriously. So the value game has become one of our projects and our day-to-day um, -day life of meetings and brainstorms and um, developments that we kind of keep up as our daily practice. So meetings over Skype, over um, Zoom is uh, part of our daily life. And um, this really makes our partnership that much more enriched because we get to share all the different parts of our world together and they come together in the synergy, in this symbiosis of, of skill sets and ideas that make, make it so much more interesting and so much more juicy throughout the day. So once half a day has already gone, um, it is time to go and pick up the one of our children that is in school. He is going to school every other day. Now that the lockdown is lifted, it's really a pleasure to go and take a drive um, without having to send an SMS and just really enjoy having to greet him and meet him at school. We'll make an effort to be part of the boys' routine as well. So when we, whenever we get the chance to go and pick them up, um, we really cherish those moments because these are the things that kids later on remember. And we get to hear all about the day and how it went in school and what challenges they have posed to really get that connection. Because it's really not the quantity of the time you spend with them, it's the quality of the time you spend with them and really the attention and the connection that you give to the moment with them. Especially when they haven't seen you for half the day, they get to vent a little bit, right? So we get home and uh, we have an opportunity to sit down for lunch and um, really share this experience. Uh, very often we use this tool called the Conscious Circle um, where we share the, the emotions and the challenges and the wins and the losses of the day. So it's a little bit difficult to actually um, show you a very standardized way of how things go because they kind of flow in and out. But usually after that I attend to the house because because the house is really a representation of who you are. It's a living, breathing organism and every single corner of it, every little ornament and, uh, and the furniture will be a reflection of who you are. Well, at least this is how I see it. So it, it needs attention. It needs constant attention. So the people that are helping us to keep it up and maintain it up to the standard that we we envision because I believe there is no need to ever lower your standard just because of somebody else's limitations. You have to keep them, you have to keep them high, you have to keep them 
true to your nature. For everybody, the standards are different. For, so some people may prefer quality, the others will, will prefer comfort. And it really is um, a, it's unique to each person. But what it will always come back to is how much love you, you give to your household, how much attention you give to your household. And for me, for example, it's just even flowers or my garden. I really take such pleasure in being in it, right? And the people that make it possible, having that communication with them to keep it up to those standards, it's really an enjoyable process. And as Julia was saying, this is why it's so important to practice the art of self-love. Because if you know how to love yourself, and the more you practice this, the more love you can put into other areas of your life. And it's just an expansion of your inner world, isn't it? You know, having a house or having the things that you, you think you want come with it extra responsibilities. Until you can take full responsibility of the things around you now, you, wouldn't, you may not be able to handle the responsibility of the bigger things. And it's a really well-rounded process because all of the areas of your life and all the spheres of your life will be reflective of your inner world, of your inner system, of your inner composition. Because if you look at it, it's like a, a projection, it's like a hallucination really, which changes. It can really change day to day depending on how you give the meaning to your experiences and you, the, the meaning that you give to your inner dialogue dialogue and you can color your day with whichever mood and whichever mindset you want because it always will come back to you and to your choices and each day we choose to live to our fullest and to really love it and to appreciate it for every single moment we get and it's not really about the luxury it's not really about the weather it's about the quality of the connections that you have with the people around you what keeps me aligned um, and to really grasp what I'm learning is to coach clients one-to-one. -one. And on this particular day, I'm coaching uh, my client, Julian, um, who is really one of those top achievers training for the Olympics. And unfortunately, it's obviously being postponed from this year to next. So it's how to keep his mindset strong. So when I'm doing this work on myself, it's really a joy to be able to see this transferred onto someone else and to see their life really shift and expand based on my own example of how we live each day. You know, as you see, our day is absolutely jam-packed, but it doesn't mean we can't find time to have some fun. And with this, uh, we take full advantage. You know, we have a swimming pool here. It's a beautiful day. I really do love throwing the children around in the pool. And as you can see, they absolutely love it. Maybe a little bit scared of how high I throw them. But for me, this really is, um, is, is sort of why I do everything, is to have the joy and to, ex to spend this time with, with the children, with Julia, because I love to see um, their faces shine and just seeing the joy from children reminds me of where um, the joy comes from and to remind me of where the joy comes from so we can have more of that every single day and why I'm doing what I'm doing. So keeping the joy alive and keeping that inner child alive and feeding him the experiences, him or her, the experiences to support that um, uh, vibrant, vibrant energy flowing is what it's all about. And with everything that we do throughout the day, as jam packed as it is, as Alex said, we bring joy to it, but we bring laughter to it. Because when we laugh at something, we're really realize that we don't have to take life that seriously, that at the end of the day, it's just about enjoying ourselves and enjoying each other. And when you come from that kind of perspective of joy and enjoying, everything becomes light and everything becomes easy. And you realize that you can achieve and do so much more throughout the day. So together with the fact that we really enjoy our space in our home and the pandemic really taught us to appreciate our space, we with the lockdown having been lifted, we really enjoy inviting people into our home with the energy that matches ours and expands ours. And on this particular day, we were blessed enough that we had Thalys Panaitis, an, um, an author of um, a couple of spiritual and um, self-development books, to join us in our home. And so when we have these experiences, and I really take such joy in having people come to our home, but entertainment for me, entertaining people for me is one of those um, emotional anchors that really make it so much more worth 
worthwhile. It really is soul food um, <laughs> being there, to be able to uh, share our experiences and to get a different perspective from other conscientious people. And it was so important because we noticed how um, certain people coming in, we were so much more aware of our energy and maybe you have as well from being at home because we've been, we've been really pushed to go home. But what does that really mean? It's being pushed to go within ourselves, right? And using this time as a lesson to find out more about yourself and your energy and what you're willing to do to protect that energy. And you can see how quickly it changes from some people coming in going, I've got a really heavy vibe now. I've got a, I'm now left with this. And some people who come in there and you feel, may have felt tired and we had such a packed day. We were, our energy was kind of going this way. But um, after the meeting, we felt so expansive and so light and we had that energy again. But a lot more space has opened up for the likes of you guys, for the time for us to be able to share our world with the people that really will be able to implement into their, into their lives. And for us, it will be so interesting what tips and what things you will take away from our experience and from our reality and implement it into yours. So we're really looking forward to those comments from you guys. And what you appreciate, appreciates. And we've seen people who don't appreciate or who are not grateful for what they have and we've seen it getting taken away from them just like this. So really it's through our own experiences of seeing it conscientiously to go, ah, this is really a lesson right here and how can we get this lesson and put it in a way that you understand so you don't have to go through the painful lessons. You've already, you get to experience your own lessons that are unique to you through the experience that we've had from others. And throughout our routine, on throughout the week, we really make a commitment to better ourselves and to improve, improve our, our uh, skill sets and, and really give um, ourselves the attention. So we might be doing um, practicing sessions through breath work, for example, that really dedicates that time to our inner self-development. Um, we have taken on one of the Anthony Robbins' coaching, business coaching, um, uh, programs where we we do the the, the real uh, decomposing of the um, the motivational elements as well as the structural elements that we then feed into our teams and align our teams so we never cease to develop in that area because we appreciate other people's uh, processes in that and what they have to bring to this world and then learn from that and implement it into our lives like perhaps you guys are doing with us. After that, you know, the, the rest of the afternoon really varies. I mean, on that particular day, we had uh, another call with a uh, NLP practitioner, for example, for the value game um, application. But um, we could take a walk with the dogs, for example, or what a movie with kids or if they choose on that night to, to have a camping night have a camping night right so it really is a, a more of a creative time more towards the end of the day because you want to kind of like wind it down in, in a way that you don't feel heavy from the day but you feel lighter so we get to also deconstruct our day and ask the kids how it has gone you know through the bedtime routine when they are having their shower brushing their teeth and they are reflecting on how the day went we really get to kind of like um, you know, draw our conclusions and just kind of anchor that in in a calm and peaceful way. So once the kids have been have gone to bed, this is our time, and we really, really value our time um, because it's it's without the interact the interruptions, without the meetings, without the exercises. This is just our time. It is so essential and it's so important to just sit down and deconstruct the day where. Where have we felt that we have really done so um, well, for example? Where could we have put a little bit more focus in? And that really like polishes out those connections in the, in the partnership area, because this is where it all begins and this is where it ends. This is the most important component of your, your life, of your daily life, is the connection with yourself and connection with each other. We really do do our very best to squeeze the juice out of the day. And, you know, we're not saying we're perfect people. We're, you yeah. know, we're going to have our ups and downs and we, we're looking to develop and expand ourselves every single day. Um, this is not about comparing lives right now. We can only say, look, this is our experience of the personal development, of hanging around coaches, of hanging around certain people. And 
whatever essence we can get from it, we're going to share with you so you can learn because this is how we learned mm -hmm. from other people, exactly. right? And we've got to a place where we feel that, hey, why not share? Let's see if someone can watch this and get something different that they can't find anywhere else. And this is our love. This is our dharma. This is what we want to do. And we do it only for the reason to really get to share. And if we can raise your level of consciousness, if we can help your life in any way, we're going to keep on doing it. And we can only know when obviously you're letting us know how you're getting on. Yeah, it has been our absolute pleasure making this video for you guys because of the love that we have for what we do and the, that we have for you. So we thank you for being here with us on this journey, um, for making it all possible for us just because you exist. And um, as Alex said, so looking forward to interacting and having a two-way communication. Yeah, we'll, we'll do our very best to bring in the professionals that we've spoken to that yeah. influenced our lives. For example, The Revive, we'd love to bring on one of the doctors who leads this um, to talk to you as they spoke to us. So you get to really understand why we're doing this and see if it's important enough for you to shift and change what you do on a day-to-day -day basis because it's gonna impact your life for the better. So thank you for uh, giving us this opportunity and please do push us and, <laughs> and, and, and explore because we're there to serve you guys. Thank you so much for being with us. Much, much love. Much love. Bye. Bye.